Hello everyone, this is, uh, my name is Tha Athanasios Drivas, or Thanos for short, and this is my TME3 project. <clears throat> Excuse me, I decided to make a tower defense game, it's called Chromatic Attack, and the reason for that is just because I tried to use uh, some creativity with colors in, in the game, and, and you'll notice that when it comes to the, the particle systems that I use. Uh, when uh, when enemy is destroyed, but before we get to that, I just want to uh, show you the. I'll go from the beginning here. So you are at the main menu, which you get after the loading screen. Loading screen is very basic and simple; it just has a progress bar there. So there are three options: start, start game, game credits, and help. Uh, I'll do start game at the end, but for game credits. That's pretty straightforward. I just tween the, the screen in, and all the, the screens get tweened in and out. Uh, so on the credits, I just programming, I did it. Graphics, I did it. And you can probably, I did the graphics, so you can probably tell that they're not the greatest sounds I got online. And the inspiration was based on some of these games that I've played on my iPhone that are uh, tower defense games. Uh, the help menu, uh, I try to just step through all the features of the game and how to play so if you don't know how to play a tower defense game this can give you the basics and the rest you'll learn in the actual game so clicking on the start button will take you to the choose a difficulty and level screen so the way it's set up is there are these eight levels and each level can be played at a different difficulty level so you can play it an easy, medium, or hard. The high scores and whether or not the game is being uh, has been played and passed is saved. And that green dot means that this stage has been passed. The high score 1080 was when last time I played the game that that was the high score for it. Uh, in each difficulty level, there there the information is saved. So. Uh, I passed this stage on easy, but I didn't pass it on medium or hard. And so all this data is saved. And if you play it in your browser, it should save the data and retrieve it even you know afterwards, as long as you didn't clear your cookies. So the user would select difficulty and then select a level to play. So let's just go to the first level. See the screen here. The first thing I'll draw your attention to is, is this here. And that's because it's counting down the next wave that comes in and as you see it's, it's going down it's nine seconds now and it's dropping and down at the bottom it's telling you what the current wave is so we're at zero of six total waves for this level just switch to one that timer reset and then the enemy should be coming in and there there's the enemy that's coming in for the first wave so this first wave has two enemies, and those are the two enemies there that are just coming in. Now, as you can see, they're going to follow the path, the road, which is just standard tower defense stuff. And as they're following the path, they, they get to the end. The green line, that's the, the health indicator for each enemy. For each enemy, that uh, obviously will get adjusted as you add heroes to the screen and you start playing. So as they get to the end there, you can see that they explode and cause damage to the user which you can see from the indicator the health indicator down here and uh, you know obviously as the indicator goes down once it gets to zero the game is over and i'll just let you guys see that happen and there we go so it's game over and the user just lost this level so let's go back into start game and let's go back into the same level now I've just added a, a pause button, and that's in case you need to grab a drink or something before you eat it easy, you, um, while you're playing the game. So there's an exit button and a resume button. So like all standard tower defense games, there's a score, and the high score is saved. There's money, so that's how much money that you have to buy the heroes, which are in this area right here. The wave, how many waves for this level, which is six, and what is the current one? Are you playing it on easy, medium, or hard? And what's your current health? To add a hero, all you do is you click on the hero, and then you can see that now you can be dragging him around with your mouse. If you try to place him somewhere over the road, for example, you can see how you, you're not allowed to do it. However, if you place them somewhere where you are, like where there's an opening and the, the, the range indicator turns white, 
you can. And immediately what the hero does is it targets the first one that's in range and then starts shooting at them. Now, lower the volume there. As you can see, the when you try to add a second hero, if you try to add it over the one that's already there, it won't let you do that. So you have to be open in an open area. If you place the hero, and I think this stage is just about to end, so I'm gonna go back into it. If you place the hero somewhere where it's out of range, so as you can see with the range indicator, anything that goes within that circle will obviously be in range and the, and the hero can shoot. But if you put them just outside of the range of, of the, the road, for example, and I'll click that so that you can see, the, the hero won't actually gain a target and won't start shooting at it, hopefully. <laughs> So as you can see the hero just the enemy just goes right by and the hero is not within range so can't actually shoot at the uh, the, the um, enemy. This character here is another hero character. You can see that the range is a lot bigger. So each character has a different range and then what I'll, I'll go through this later but upgrading will cause the hero to have to change its range and obviously make it bigger. So there, that's again when it's out of range, it, it won't shoot. So let's just uh, let's restart this game again. So going back again, this one and the two enemies at the end here that you can't buy because we don't have enough money for them are are basically going to shoot and cause damage. This one here actually doesn't, and it, it slows the the enemies down. And actually, let's go to a stage that. Well, we have some fast enemies and I'll show you how this one behaves. So pay attention to the enemies as they come in at the, the different speeds. The This hero here will target one of the enemies and the first one that it targets it will keep shooting at and it will slow down its speed. So keep an eye on this one there and as you can see the speed has just changed. It's going a lot slower at, compared, when compared to the other ones. Whereas this one doesn't do that, obviously, it shoots to, to kill, basically. And this guy got it away. Showing you a little bit of the gameplay. So again, what you're trying to, the object of the game is obviously to stop the enemies from getting to the end. And the amount of money that I give for each person, for the, each level, is dependent on the difficulty level as well. So it, it, it makes the, the game at least a little harder or a little easier, depending on what it, what uh, what level it is and what difficulty you're playing. So I'm just gonna exit this for a second here, because I want to show you the next feature, which is the upgrade feature. Now, once you place an enemy and you click on them, you're gonna get this heads-up display over here. What this heads-up display does is it allows you to upgrade or sell. These numbers, are, the, these ones are, are pretty much set by me, but the, this is calculated depending on how much you bought the enemy for. So if you bought it for $75, it, it subtracts a certain amount, and then you get what you would get if you sold it. And I'll give you a show you, if you sell it, there you go, you just got the money in the bank, and it was removed from the screen. Whereas if you now add it again, once you upgrade, if you upgrade, and I'll show you that in a second, this price will change. So you'll actually get more money back because you also pay for the upgrade. So let's go into upgrading. As you can see, these, these three little bars, which are also over here with the hero, there's three levels of upgrading. So if you upgrade the first level, as you can see, the one bar turns darker white. And, and the same over here, the same thing over here. The damage it causes has increased from one to two, and the range has also increased from 100 to 105. And if you were to upgrade again, you get the two, and you keep moving up on the on the scale. So the range moves up, and the damage moves up. And so you can continuously upgrade the heroes until they reach level three, at which point you won't be able to upgrade them anymore. The, uh, the idea to this is to add a little bit of strategy behind whether you decide to buy more heroes or upgrade the heroes instead. And it's up to you as a user to figure out what's the best thing to do. And as I said, now that it's on level 2, as you can see, the, the sell price is more because you spent money to upgrade this. So it's, you'll, you'll get more than $56, now you'll get 206 And this stage is about to end.
I'm going to use this level here where you have uh, quite a few. I give you a lot of money to start just to show you an example of some of the other characters. So here you have this guy. He's very expensive, very expensive to buy, but at the same time, he's also very, uh, very strong and fires very fast. As I said, this one here slows, uh, slows the heroes down, whereas this one fires a very powerful bullet or missile but won't actually uh, will take a longer time to reload so you can see as the game is going that it uh, involves strategy using the different type of characters and the different uh, abilities that they have and your ability to upgrade and sell and change and switch guys and, and using the best positioning of your characters in order to actually uh, figure out how to pass the levels. So this is Chromatic Attack and I, I hope you enjoyed the, the lesson. The, the game will be available hopefully online uh, for people to try out and play and that's it. Thanks very much and I, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just gonna end it back on the Chromatic Attack screen. Thanks!